Hello everyone, this is Scott Lowe from CES 2014. I am standing with Justin Rubio. Hey. Say hello to the people. Hi. Uh, we're checking out the Myris. Now, it's a very funny name, but it right. actually alludes to kind of what it does. So Justin, tell us all about it. The Myris is an iLog. So what it does is connects to your, to your PC. And what you do is instead of using typing in a password, this will actually scan your iris and it'll unlock through that. Or not necessarily unlock, you can store any type of passwords through your Amazon yeah. or email or whatever. But this isn't really just like some basic facial recognition. Like this actually goes a lot farther than right. that. It actually scans over 240 different points of your iris per eye, which is pretty intense. Even if you're a twin, like you, you don't have that same iris design. So it's very, very yeah, specific to you. I think they said that the failure rate in that is one in a couple trillion. Yeah, in terms of like false identity. Right. It's very, very rare. Uh, but this thing actually works for a variety of different platforms, right? It's not just for PC. Like, you can have, like, Linux yeah. and Mac. But, like, more interestingly, like, you can actually map it to certain applications. So, like, right. Or even websites. Like, if you uh, don't want your kids or, you know, your loved one going to your favorite, like, you know, uh, Pizza gaming place. website, you know, it's your, your special little site, IGN, you don't want anyone going with it, uh, and you got to, you know, scan your iris to do it. And it, uh, you know, when you plug it in, it immediately just kind of uh, registers with your PC and allows you to kind of map that out. So it has software that works with all these sites and, and, and password systems right. that can set it all up. Exactly. So in terms of pricing and release, they're not being too specific, but they're going to say under $300 and then it's going to ship sometime in the first half of the year. Correct. Uh, so for all things CES, where do people go, Justin? Go to IGN.com slash CES.